Hello and welcome back for more Sea of Thieves tips where today we're going to talk about ship positioning. Probably the most quintessential tips that could be offered in Sea of Thieves are where to maintain your ship during a fight to avoid putting yourself, your ship, and your loot at risk. Assuming you're interested in surviving your battles, let's take a look at how to go about them. While maintaining wind and going full sail makes sense when you're traveling all around, it's counterproductive when you decide it's time for a fight. You want to avoid taking on full wind when approaching an enemy crew to keep from sailing right past them. Adjust sails and slowing down for tighter turns promotes greater control over your boat and allows for you to be more precise when taking aim at the enemy ship. It's often memed that the ram strat is the best strat because it generally gets you killed when first starting out. Contrary to popular belief though, ramming can still have its benefits. While you do need to be careful to avoid putting holes in your own ship, it can be used as an effective tool to board the enemy and give you a chance to slay out an anchor, especially if you aren't sailing alone and have crew members keeping the boat safe. Otherwise, it's often agreed by the greater community to try and avoid ramming as it often is done at the cost of your own ship. When approaching a fight, it is absolutely imperative that you avoid positioning yourself in their broadside for any longer than you have to. While this can sometimes feel inevitable, your goal, regardless if the ship is big or small, is to maneuver in front of or behind the ship you're attacking and to disable that ship from moving. Using everything in your arsenal, the idea is to be positioned where you can aim at them where they can't aim at you. A hard habit many have trouble breaking is tunnel visioning. This often comes in the form of broadside versus broadside, where ships will either be parallel to one another or circling in the same predictable spin and firing indiscriminately until one wins and the other loses. The exception to this rule, however, is a popular technique I made a video on called the death spiral, where you disable and slowly circle around an enemy ship, placing holes on all sides and forcing them on the defensive for the win. If, however, you find yourself in a relative stalemate, a simple solution is often to just break off and re-engage for a better preemptive that nets you the advantage. One of the biggest struggles I find many new players encounter are fights against larger ships. These fights can be terribly intimidating, but ultimately there's a simple and effective way to go about them, and that's to maintain a fair distance away so that you can gauge their naval skill along with starving out any resources they may have. If you find the enemy might know what they're doing, always feel free to peel off and reset the fight, taking advantage of your superior maneuverability until you feel comfortable re-engaging the fight. As per usual, cursed cannonballs and chain shots are your friends, with bigger ships taking longer for crews to recover any damage done to them. While boarding can be a risky play when you're solo, sometimes the ends justify the means. Going for boards when you have the opportunity, especially against a ship that's constantly trying to maneuver out of the fight, can net you a win by taking over the boat, anchoring them and slaying out. This will buy you time to swiftly get back to your boat and prepare for the sink. Now that you're one step closer to being a true pirate legend, it's time you go out there and test your mettle with what you've learned. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like and subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can always be notified of any upcoming videos. We stream regularly on Twitch at twitch.tv slash copiousjack with all our links located down below. And remember, it's not about the gold, it's about the glory.